Hey yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy here, and today we're going to be looking at this Dodge Challenger Demon inside of Southwest Water. This car is actually the cover, one of the cover cars, or actually the cover videos uh, car in this game, and let me tell you, this car is a very, very cool looking car, but we're going to get into this card all about it in a second here. Now, before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that, uh, well, I'm Hypot. If you don't know who I am, I do car reviews and other crazy car videos, because I'm just a car guy like that, I like cars. But uh, yeah, if you guys are new to the channel and do find this video a little bit helpful, hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, also, I got uh, some social you can follow, like tw uh, I got my Twitch, I got some Twitter, I got Instagram, I got all those good things. All those are in the description below. Also, got a Roblox group if you want to join that with some sick hype out merch. But you know, why don't we just get into this demon? Because I know that's all you guys want to listen to. So yeah, let's let's walk right through the demon here, because that's possible, and go straight into the dealership and check out the surprise. So this car is a coupe. And it is $86,000. Now, that's a fair price. It's not that expensive. And it's, you know, one of those cars most people can afford right off the bat. Also, it's one of those cars that looks insanely cool. Now, a lot of you want to know how fast this car goes. And we'll get into that in a second here. Now, let's just take a quick look at the car and, you know, check out its appearance and all that good stuff. Now, they do have, like, the little hole in the headlights. Not too much detail. Not too much detail. The car doesn't have too much. The rims... The, the, the rims were just the detailed slightly more and look a lot cooler. But, I mean, regardless, this car is still fairly, fairly nice. But why don't we hop into this bad boy and uh, listen to its startup. So let's hop in here. Let's uh, go down to its exhausts and listen to this amazing, amazing demon startup. <laughs> I love that so much. Why don't we do the rev? Revving. Got the supercharger one now. How, despite how much I don't like charger uh, challengers, challengers. I'll, I hate. I don't. I don't like challengers very much. But this challenger right here, pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. It looks really nice and is pretty clean in my opinion. But you know, chargers still a big win, my book. But yeah, why don't we uh, test out some of its features here? Let's look at the headlights. Headlights fill in those little circles right there, as you can see and uh, uh rear lights i cannot speak today fill in those little uh, rectangle circle things curves and all that good stuff in the back why don't we just keep those on because i like that and what do we do the blinkers blinkers fill in the le leftmost panel on this side rightmost panel on that side and it's just a nice little uh, little blink i love this i love this right here there's a little circle around the intakes and well intake i don't know if the other one actually has an intake irl i'm pretty sure one of them only has one Regardless, this car is insanely cool, but why don't we get this car on the road and uh, let's check out its top speed its acceleration see if we can actually like Get this car to like jump as it's noted for whenever it's doing the drag races because this car actually gets its two front tires up But I don't know if it can do that in this game What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put grip tires on it as it launches just because I want to see if it's actually able to jump actually you know we're this is this is a review we're gonna do bone stock tires so why don't we rev this bad boy up hopefully this does like a nice little jump so in three two one go no jump at all the car literally just did a little like hippie hop off the line but the back end is slammed to the ground and we are zooming oh my this is like a really quick accelerator if you guys don't understand this car is going really quick a lot faster than a lot of other cars in this game and a lot quicker of a time. I mean, this car is literally going almost 200 before some of the supercars even. And that's impressive. Now, will we be able to hit any higher of a top speed? 202, 203. We still have a signal. No. We just lost so much speed there. The car just shifted and lost all of its speed. We're almost hit 205, and then it shifted next to gear and lost everything. Which, I mean, I guess is, you know, what's supposed to happen when you have a drag car. You get to the last gear and you just have to use the most prolonging gear ever. But, uh, 203 is what we hit. This car is really meant for dragging. So, I mean, I understand why it kind of did that uh, last gear. But, why don't we check out some of its colors. You know, black on the car. It looks decent. Gray on the car looks alright. Pure white. I do like how it highlights the accents of the car. Blue. I do like blue. I might keep it. And then the red that we just had. Not bad, not bad. Why don't we keep the blue? Because blue, um, I don't know. It was just a cool color. And why don't we go into the turn test? So I'm not expecting this thing to do anything good on this turn test because, well, it's a drag car. But will it do something impressive? Yeah, it can drift, that's for sure. Screw. 
Ooh, that was smooth. Okay, so this car, yes, it's pretty nice. It's not the best at turning. If you, if you hit the gas in, in any of the slightest do a turn, you're going to you're going to hit the rev limiter. You're going to you're going to slide out a little bit, and it's raining, so this car doesn't do any better. But it makes it a good fun drift car, and it, really, this car is meant for drag racing. And I mean, it does live up to its expectations. Now, this car litter is is so good. I don't even know how to like describe it. Like it's it's braking though is, is is on the smaller end of things, but we're not worried about that. We're worried about it getting its front tires up, which it won't do. But I mean, overall, rating this car as it is for being just a car, it's 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 like an eight, it's like a nine point, you know, five, nine point six as a drag car. It is definitely a 9.9 .9 out of 10. I know I know there's another car that goes a lot quicker than this, and a lot of other cars do go a lot quicker than this. But I mean, this car can definitely catch a few people off the line, and this, that's what's pretty cool about this car. If you were to bring this in practically without having, like, with a realistic budget, this would definitely decimate some drag races. But yeah, what do you guys think about this demon? Leave it in the comments below. And uh, if you guys do want to get one, are you guys going to get it after this video? I want to know that. Leave that in the comments below if you want to, of course. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Good bye. No, I'm not here for your show, wasn't asking But I've been quitting while you're taking I've been sipping cause I'm